My work is focused on the U.S. and it was really important for this volume to reach beyond the U.S. And so, you know, Nick's essay in the volume, thinking about Ireland, that actually in the intro I write, like, not only was he thinking about Ireland in the essay as we were doing the editing process, Ireland was dealing with a number of questions, like political questions about gayness, specifically the marriage referendum. And so just highlighting how these questions are very different in different geographical locations. I think Karib Koop John Donnie's uh, essay in the book is another one that was really important for me for thinking about how queerness moves. And Kareem really argues that, um, you know, queerness is often framed as something that's sort of of the West or a Euro-American perspective. And he writes beautifully around how his um, understanding of queerness and performance of queerness and his art making related to queerness has everything to do with his um, aunties from India that he was living with in Ghana as a young person. So yeah, I think I think this kind of like reaching beyond the U.S. and not understanding the U.S. as central to a project of queerness was huge. And in some ways, it also winds up decolonizing queerness instead of it being um, a Euro-British or uh, let's say Euro-American perspective. Um, it winds up talking maybe about like places, rural spaces, um, uh, hemispheric spaces, and I think that that's a really important thing about this text, where we think about queerness in a culturally specific way, um, and uh, also person-specific way, vis-a-vis um, -vis the normative.